Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this very simple drum pad and patcher. The way that this works is that it just plays samples when you press the button like this. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to control MIDI with buttons or knobs or sliders. So if you for some reason don't want to use the keyboard and you want to make your patch look like an actual drum pad, this is how you can do it. So on the map side, I have this MIDI out plugin. And in here we have these knobs that we can activate and then you can connect whatever you have here on the surface into these knobs. And when I right click a knob, I can press configure and here I can name this and then I can select a note range and all these various other settings. So in this menu, you need to make sure that note is selected. And here in the note range, you need to find the corresponding MIDI value to whatever note you want to trigger, if that makes sense. So in here, I have this FPC plugin, which has this similar looking pad setup where you can press and trigger samples, but I can't directly activate these. So this is why I need to do this MIDI thing here. But anyways, um, each of these samples have their own note value. So we need to find out which MIDI value corresponds to that. As you can see in here, I have set a range of 35 to 36. And in this case, 36 is the correct note. So it's a C3 and the lower value can actually be whatever that is just below 36. It doesn't have to be 35. It could just be zero as long as it's smaller. And here I have this random website that just has this chart where you can check which MIDI number corresponds to which note. So in here we have the 36 at C2 because for some reason you just need to go an octave lower. So if in the FPC it says C3, you need to find C2. And then as you can see, I have done the same thing with all of these other knobs as well. So I'm just pressing configure, finding the correct range, changing this to note, and then just clicking accept. And then from the MIDI out, you just enable the MIDI output and then connect that into the FPC MIDI input. I also routed all of those samples into the lowest row of the keyboard. So in this VFX key mapper, you can map, you know, incoming keys into whatever the output will be. So, and I made it so that Z is the kick and X is the snare and C is the hi-hat and so on and so forth. But this is basically it for this tutorial. There's really not much else to say about this. I hope you find it useful and you can utilize it in your projects. And I will put this patch up for free download. I will put the link in the description. And yeah, um, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more videos like these. And I will see you in the next one.